All right, welcome back to another video uh, in the complete web dev series. In this chapter, we are building a content management system using object-oriented programming. And this is our second video, so we're gonna get started here. But before I do, um, please comment, like, subscribe. And uh, if you want some sweet merch like this hat or a shirt of your own, head over to uh, freeskills.life and you can pick up a hat. If you do do that, go ahead and take a picture of yourself and put it in the comment section of YouTube, or I hope you can do that, or I just told you to do it either way. Uh, but just somehow send me a picture of you wearing some of my merch. All right, so let's jump in. I'm going to switch over to my screen here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off um, by creating our repository um, because we, I'm, we're going to start off just in the very beginning, just start off with Git. Um, so go ahead and log into your GitHub account. We created this in our Git chapter. And go ahead and go to your repositories. And then up here, you can either click new repo, new repository, or you can click this new here. Um, so go ahead and click new repository. Make sure you're the owner and give it a name. I'm gonna call this CMS. Um, yeah, we'll just do CMS. Um, and this will be for the description. I'm gonna put YouTube. Well, we'll do complete web dev source code for the CMS project. Now, I'm going to keep mine public so that you guys can you guys can get access to this and uh, look at my code in case you have uh, some issues with your code and you want to find out why it's not working. But you need to make yours private, so you'll click private here. I'm going to leave mine public. Go ahead and add yourself a readme file if you want um, and add a git ignore and uh, don't worry about a license as of right now uh, i guess since mine's public i'm gonna go ahead and make mine mit and then um let's see what else am i missing here create repository um why is it not letting me do this? I'm missing something here. Oh, I guess for the get ignore, it's wanting me to do some sort of, um, you know what? Let's just do, We won't add a git, git ignore. We'll add our own git ignore if we need it. So we'll just uncheck that and hit create repository. I guess we could have just picked one, but I didn't want to have a bunch of extra stuff in there. And plus, it'll give me an opportunity to show you git ignore if we need to. All right, so now it takes you here. Okay, and what we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to clone this into our local uh, environment. So go ahead and click on this code right here. Make sure you have SSH checked here if you follow along with the GitHub because uh, you will you will have your SSH key set up. And I'm going to hit copy. Once I copy that link, let's go ahead and go to a terminal. And what we want to do is we want to navigate to our htdocs directory. So for me on Linux, that's op lamp, lamp and then uh, forward slash htdocs. And I just want to be right inside of that uh, htdocs directory. And what we're going to do is just type git clone. Oops, git clone. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and hit control shift V to paste that in there if you're on Linux. Um, and, or you can just paste that in if you're on other operating systems without hitting control and shift. But I'm gonna hit enter now, and this is gonna clone it into CMS, which is what I named my repo. So now if I LS, I can see that I have this CMS directory here. So go ahead and CD into CMS. And uh, now it looks like they created a, um, a, a main branch called, well, this, this would normally be called master, but I guess, they're trying to be more politically correct. I don't know why master is a problem. I don't feel like it is, but hey, um, they have started calling that main. So now our branch is called main, so we'll remember that, but we're gonna be making branches. I'm gonna make a branch for each video probably. Um, but let's go ahead now, and since we have this open, um, let's go ahead and open this up in our, in our editor. Um, if you're using Visual Studio Code, you can type code uh, right here. You can do code space dot 
um, and it will open up this inside of there. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna move this to my second workspace and I will close down my other project I had open and now you can see that we have a readme file that um, just has our description in it and our license here um, and that's all we have in our project so far uh, and so I think we'll leave it there so this video will just go ahead and make sure you have your git repo created and then um, you have it cloned onto your machine the only other thing I would say is let's go ahead and check our permissions here so just go ahead and hit cd dot uh, space dot dot to go back a directory and then we'll do ls dash la and just make sure that that new directory here is owned by you um, and you have you, for the group so it should be if you fall if you've been following along with us so far we're using exampp in this so um, we will get that up and running in the next video and then uh, in the next video what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up our database um, just so we don't don't have to worry about that too much we'll set up our database and then I think we'll be ready to start coding so um with that I will see you guys in the next video